What's up guys, Eric coming at you out of the blue here today, building a northern pike. So first off, I'm sharpening my knife really well, leaning off the shavings, and then we're going to start with a cut behind the gill plate and then along towards the pelvic fin. Basically, you're going to make that cut following along where the white and the pattern meet. So there's my first cut, turning it over and going to slice it towards that pelvic fin there. And then I'm going to continue along from the, the vent all the way past the anal fin and make sure you're staying on top of the anal fin and then this sharp knife is able just to glide through this fillet just like butter and so that's one. Washing off the table is very key uh, just to manage your pike slime and then I'm going to repeat on this side so I'm slicing towards that pelvic fin I can feel with my hand where there's a bone and then I'm going to be cutting just behind that bone because this is actually a completely boneless piece of meat that uh, some people throw out, but I personally really like it. it. Tastes really good to fry up. Then I'm gonna be slicing on top of the vent and over top of the anal fin again, and slicing off the other side. So just like that, a really nice sharp knife again, helps so much for that. So the rest can be thrown out. And then what I'm gonna be doing is washing again. So using cold water is key for getting rid of that pike slime and it'll make things so much easier. A lot of people tend to not like pike because of the slime, but this will take care of it. So then just sliding along, uh, kind of just gliding my knife right as close to the skin as I can and throwing away the extra. And then I have my fillet and washing it again. So again, washing is key. Now I'm going to be removing the rib bones here. So just kind of making a first primary cut and then slowly adding my knife underneath and working upward. So I want to stay uh, underneath those bones and kind of gliding it right underneath. And that is now a part that can be thrown out. Next, we're going to be doing what I call the back strap. So you can kind of feel the bones actually, but if you want to stay just on the outside towards the top, um, and then work your knife downward until you hear like a tick, 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 and that's you on top of the bones, and then you can just work your knife outward and just slowly glide on top of them, and that is a boneless little piece of fillet there. Uh, and these bones are in a Y shape, so going underneath and just kind of doing the same thing, but underneath the bones and working on top, you're gonna have a fillet with bones and then a boneless fillet right here, and that's how you do it.